Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're in here, hi, my name is Marissa and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, for those of you that aren't new here, I know that y'all are probably wondering where I've been and I'm going to explain that in the video today. I have a whole bunch of topics that I just wanna go over as to where I've been and all the other stuff that's been going on, okay? Um, so yeah, today is going to be a get ready with me or like a full get ready with me minus the outfit because i don't want to put on my good clothes okay i'm lazy okay i know but anyways yeah so it's just gonna be like a full get ready with me i really do want to do my hair um i have been really feeling this slick back bun i will show you guys a picture right here of what i mean by the slick back bun it has really been my vibe i've been loving it literally i've been wearing it all the time like I just love it okay um so yeah i already have my hair straightened um i feel like i did a horrible job at the straightening but it's probably because of the hot iron that i have is like old okay very old so yeah i already have my hair straightened i usually like my hair dry whenever i do this because i just feel like it's better that way when you have it dry other than having it fully wet or something and um it like just it just looks really like i don't know I can't describe it, okay? I can't describe it. But anyways, um, I'm gonna be taking my brush. I like using this brush right here. And I'm using my monitor today to do this part because I don't have a mirror. So bear with me, okay? Bear with me. And for this, I honestly like to just pull all my hair back. And some of this may or may not be sped up, but I don't know yet, so we'll just see. And I just like to pick all my hair up. This is like the most easiest hair ever. Like when you want to look like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to spray some water. Just because either way, I just washed all this part out at the end of the night anyways. From like all the gel and stuff that I have in my hair. Sorry if I'm moving around way too much. and just trying to evenly do it when it comes to the top i honestly don't really care if the top has a little bit of lumps just because i like the top when it has a little bit of lumps in it just so it doesn't look like i tried like way too hard with the hair like i want it to look like i just like needed to go run out the door real quick and this is like the most easiest hairstyle and the key is is that you want to bring it as high as you possibly can in the back because the part that i'm going to show y'all like the um i don't know how to describe it i really don't know what this hairstyle is called but i do know that i have like so many saved pictures on instagram of everyone with this hairstyle literally okay so i just secured it with a rubber band and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the rest of my ponytail and i just like to go around in circles i'll do it as tight as i possibly can but not too tight because whenever you do put it in your jungle or your rubber band it will um be like hella tight you know what i mean and what I do is I love to leave these little pieces out just like that. Like I'll hold them down with my hand. Hopefully y'all can see that. And then I'll take another rubber band and I'll put it right over, leaving those hairs out. So it really doesn't matter which side you have it on. If you want it in the middle, you can do it more towards the middle. But to be honest, this is where it landed. That is where I'm keeping it. Um, I usually always have it on my left, but it's fine because i'm not leaving my hair like this all day so after that i will go in with my got to be hair gel which is just some regular gel um you can use whatever you have i just sprayed some of this in my hair just to tame my baby hairs because i have hella baby hairs um so now i'm just going to take the most smallest amount i'm going to put that on the back of my hand and i'll just take just a tiny little bit and I'll slick back these hairs right here because those are the main hairs that give me a hard time. And then I will slick back these hairs right here on the side just because I have like long sideburn hairs. 
and then whatever is in the middle. And then since these are a little bit straightened right here on the side, I do want to put a little bit of hairspray in the tips of them just so they look a little more spiky. And for that, I'm just going to use my sister's um, Tresemme hairspray. <laughs> I don't really have like hair products like that just because I don't ever do my hair. I'm the one that like curls her hair. Hopefully, maybe sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not really into doing the hair. I'll just slick that bitch back. <laughs> Excuse my language, but I will. And then I'll just take my brush again, brush out the sides. Now, what I like to do to add a little bit extraness to it is I'll take whatever is left on the back of my hand and I'll take my spoolie, my very dirty spoolie because I've been meaning to wash my brushes, but I haven't. And I will, ooh, that's a lot. Okay, um, I guess. And I will just brush through the little baby hairs that I have. And I'm not really perfect with it because, to be honest, I don't really want to, like, make them super, you know, baby hairish. You know what I mean? Where there's, like, a lot of hairs. Um, I don't really feel like that flatters my head shape. <laughs> um, so I won't do it. And then I'm just going to go on this side and I'll try to like make it as even as I possibly can because. And then I like to lay these on the side. And then also what I like to do is because I do have like really thin hair in the front of my head. It's not because I'm like bald or anything. Um, but I do have very thin hair, like it just runs my family for some reason. So I like to just fill in my hair with this hair like color eyeshadow, which is from the e.l.f. Retro Paradise. And then I'll just go in and like dab it in there. Now, I don't really, you know, I'm not going to take my time on this just because this is just for the sake of the video. I'm not really going anywhere after this, so I really don't care. But if I was, then I would take my time to make sure that's, you know, my hairline's blended out. You don't want no, like, blotchy hairline. You don't want people to be looking at you and, like, they are like, sis, you got eyeshadow in your hair. We can tell. You don't want that. All right. So I already prepped and primed the face. I'm not really going to add any more product. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. Y'all know I never really do eyebrows on camera, and that's just because they take way too long for me to do. So today, I'm actually going to do them on camera because I just feel like it. So I'm going to take a little bit of my got to, be, got to be glued hair gel. And when I say a little bit, I mean just a tiny little bit with the same spoolie. Hopefully y'all can see me do this because I always have to have this mirror right in my face. And what I'll do is I'll just brush my hairs up. And if y'all can't already tell, I really do like the um, more natural fluffy brow. I'm not really into like the sculpted eyebrows or anything. So I like my eyebrows like straight. So now that I have the product in my eyebrows, I'm just going to go ahead and take my spoolie. And I'm going to just trace the outer part of my eyebrow. Just because I like it whenever it has like a very straight edge just so I don't have to like go in and put any product in my like actual top of my eyebrow or anything okay and just like that and before I forget I really do want to just tell y'all that um, this whole look is basically inspired by Sandra Shehab or Sandra Shehab on Instagram which is the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my entire life okay um Sorry if I just went cross-eyed, there's a little hair flying around. Um, yeah, like her hair, makeup, face, everything is just so freaking good. Love her so much. So yeah, I have been doing my hair and then I loved how she did the little um, hair spikes and then her makeup is like on point, okay, on point. Okay, now just going in and just filling in the sparse areas, I am going to be taking my ABH brow powder. This is in the Chocolate Duo, and I'm going to be taking the darker side. And I'm just going to create some hair-like strokes. This is like my go-to eyebrow, but to be honest, um, when it comes to eyebrows, I really 
don't fill them in anymore, especially when I'm going anywhere, even if it's out of town or out to eat or anything. Like, I just don't fill them in. I don't know why. I just feel like my eyebrows have grown so well lately, and I've been just liking to just put a little bit of product in them and just out the house I go. And honestly, I haven't even been wearing like any makeup whatsoever. Just like a tad of concealer, a little bit of foundation on my blemishes, and boom, I'm out the door. Okay, so for today, I wanted to go with a graphic liner moment, and like I said just previously, that I have really been inspired by Sandra Shehab on Instagram um, with her eye looks and everything and just the simpleness of, of literally everything. Um, and so I decided to do the graphic liner. I've never done a graphic liner on myself personally, like ever, ever, or on my channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it today. So since hers is brown, I'm gonna just stick with the same color and use brown and you already know, I always use this palette. I'm gonna take the brown shade um, called No Fudge Given from my Fenty Snap Palette in the number three. And the first topic I wanna talk to you guys about, I have them literally like all written down, is where I've been and why haven't I posted. And y'all are probably like, really? Yes, really. Just because I, do YouTube and everything and I do post on Instagram every now and then I really do want to start being a, like very consistent okay very consistent and I know that in order for me to engage with my audience I do have to post and like keep on posting daily or like every other day or whatever and I really do want to do that now the reason why I have not hopefully y'all can see that but I'm just drawing a line just like a regular wing liner and the reason why I haven't been filming or anything is because after my Valentine's Day video, I believe, um, I just didn't feel motivated enough to like get in my makeup room, my beauty room, and just film a video for you guys. To be honest, I don't know of any other like video I could possibly film. And um, you know, like not knowing what content to film or anything is kind of hard to be honest because I don't want to film the same things. But then I started thinking to myself that, you know, this is me, this is who I am. And I really do like the more natural looking makeup looks. Um, so I just decided that if you guys aren't into the natural stuff, then, you know, my channel isn't really for you. Now, if you are, then of course my channel is for you because I just love the way that the more natural makeup looks look of course i will do like a colorful look every now and then but it's not going to be like a rainbow look or anything like that um it's just going to be more on like the more natural colorful side and so yeah that's why i really haven't been posting not only that but my you know in texas the winter storm just hit a few weeks ago and a lot of things happened fortunately for me and my little family that live in this house we were okay we didn't really get you know hit that hard or whatever um like our lights didn't turn off our water didn't turn off we were really good and we were stocked up on food and everything now for some other family members of ours um okay so just so i can let y'all know what i'm doing i'm gonna go ahead and since i have that line down i'm going to gently connect the other line into the crease the top crease of my eye just because i don't want to like not tell y'all what i'm doing and just picking up a little product at a time okay so like i was saying so my family did get hit pretty hard. Um, my mother-in-law and sister-in-laws actually didn't have light or power or anything at all for a few days. So we did let them stay here. Well, actually we let one of the sisters stay here. The other one went back because she got word that her power got turned back on. But unfortunately it got turned back off like an hour later. So yeah um the roads were really really icy the first day that it hit like of course us texans were like really excited because it's snowing there's ice on the ground like we're going sledding and everything but like after that day we were like hold up the ice needs to melt already 
we need to go back to that 80 degree weather so that's where we were at for a few days it was really really cold in this house like even with the heater on it was cold okay so just to pause the story for a little bit i'm gonna go in with my nars foundation like we're already done with the eyes like i said it's like that easy and i'm gonna put a few pumps on the back of my hand i haven't really been liking like full coverage foundation lately i have been doing the most minimal foundation ever and when i mean minimal this is way too much for me right here like i literally do like some on my blemishes and then the rest i don't use of course but i want to make this one a full coverage so hopefully the next video is like my go-to makeup look that i've been loving lately so i can show y'all because it is my vibe so to continue with the story a few days after that not even maybe like a week later my grandma actually had surgery and um she had a pretty major surgery i would say i think any surgery is major to be honest um but she had a hysterectomy so she really needed the hysterectomy just because um you know she had signs of cancer but it wasn't really cancer or anything um that's all i want to get into with that just because it's very personal with my grandma and everything and so she just decided to have a hysterectomy altogether and of course me being the oldest but not only the oldest like that's my grandma like i love my grandma um i have been taking care of her not really taking care of her because it wasn't that you know um hard on her to be honest because she did get like a laser hysterectomy if that makes any sense um so she was able to move around sit down get up on her own and all that but like to go to the grocery store and pick up milk jugs or anything she wasn't able to or just like daily things at her house um and i've been over there helping her with that type of stuff lately so therefore that's another reason why i have not been filming whatsoever um so yeah she's actually doing way better and today and yesterday i felt good enough to come home and film so she's actually at home right now she's chilling she's been driving around and stuff like that not fully but slowly um and i'm actually going over there right after this so yeah i'm just gonna apply some concealer this is my elf concealer and i've just been applying it in the inner and outer part and this is literally what i do when i do my makeup just to go like out somewhere real quick or whatever i don't really take my time with it like i used to putting on like two concealers at a time just because i feel like one for right now is really good and then a little bit in the center okay so while that dries i just want to go back to the finding motivation for like youtube and posting and everything so when it comes to youtube and everything i really wanted to stick with just the makeup videos and like the fashion videos and stuff um lately i've just been so busy i have not been able to purchase any new fashion items or any even makeup items or whatever like i like i'm the type that likes to go shopping in store when it comes to makeup and then online for the fashion because you know you can't really find good pieces in store lately especially for the girls um and so i just decided that i wanted to do something different on my channel i wanted to incorporate some more funner more like outgoing videos not just like vlogs and makeup videos but actual like really fun videos that you would see on other couple channels but this would just be my channel so i'm not really making like in couples channel if that makes any sense um so me and my boyfriend decided that we would do like every other video a couple video um so i have a lot of ideas in mind that i really do want to do and when he gets his hair cut we will do it so yeah i'm really excited about that just because i really want to incorporate some much more funner outgoing videos like i know y'all really never see me in my natural funny state or whatever like i'm really really funny really outgoing like probably the clown of the family to be honest i really make everyone laugh and i want to start incorporating some of my outgoingness you know what i mean if that makes any sense all right so now that i got all my concealer blended out i'm gonna go in with an oldie but goodie this is the fenty beauty banana powder 
If you remember, I used to use this like all the time. If you're if you've been subscribed to me for a long time, you know what I mean? For like this past year, then you know. Um but I recently picked it up because I like the color it gives under the eyes. Like it sets my under eyes, but it also brightens it up because it is a banana powder. And I've just been really feeling the only setting under my eyes in places that I put my concealer. Like I haven't really been setting my whole face lately. I know, I know. Who am I? Who am I, you guys? Just been really feeling it. So for blush, I have really been feeling just the Patrick Ta Cream Blush. Um, like I always use this little duo here, but I really just like the cream only on my face. So I don't know. I don't really know. But I'm just going to take my beauty blender and my dog's hair is everywhere, which is great. And I'm going to be putting it on the high points of my cheek. Oh, that looks really blushy, babe. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I've been really loving to put it all the way on my temple. Like, I'll blend it in and everything, but I've just been feeling the whole um, temple moment with blush. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's how I've been feeling it. I'm going to be taking my MAC Cork Lip Liner like I always do. And just outlining my lips. And now going in with another Makeup Forever lip liner in the shade Up and Down Tan. And I really have been feeling this lip liner because it's more of like a fleshy nude, if that makes any sense. Like a mauvey pink. And it really does match my natural lip color. So I've been really feeling this. Alright, so here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this hair slash makeup tutorial little vibe that I have going on. If you do and did like it, then go ahead and just leave me a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell to get notified every single time I upload. And also, don't forget to share with your friends on any of your social media platforms. It will really help me out and I would really, really appreciate it okay um and if you did like this video um please just like i don't know drop a heart down in the comments just so i know and um or just like it <laughs> i just said that but like just so i know that y'all do like these type of videos and then i will continue to do like the little hair tutorials makeup tutorials maybe even outfits after i do hair and makeup and um yeah, so this is how it came out. Like I said, I'm really into like the more natural, minimalistic looks, no lashes, barely any makeup on the face and whatnot. And I've just been really feeling these looks lately. So I guess I will go ahead and just, I don't know what I did there with the hands. Um, let y'all go and I will see you guys on my next video. So bye.